Hey guys, welcome back once again. This is just a continuation of our advanced encryption standard WPF application. Simple building a um, trying to encrypt a, a text file. So rather than talking too much, just let's get it going. So that let's be obviously we just continue straight from where we left. So we just continue AES that key we set the value so this will be the new key that we've created that um, get bytes so we pass in I'm on AES the key size divided by 8 AES that 4 is um, the key that get bytes so AES that block size divided by 8 the next bit of course will be our, our mode A dot mode so this will be cipher dot cbf or cfb so now we can say our fs dot right so we pass in this um, assault um, zero for the buffer and then uh, the assault dot length so the next bit of course is we initialize a crypto crypto stream which is CS and a new instance of it we pass in our FS and an AES dot create encryptor and then crypto crypto stream mode dot write so we have another file so we continue by adding another file stream and we can say fs in get the new instance of it so we, this is what we pass in of course uh, um, file file name test dot test then we pass in the file mode open and we get the byte array again and this is will be our buffer and this is equal to a new instance of byte and we put this value 108 576 and and we've got our int we call it read so we put our try catch finally so here this is what we would do inside our try we put a while loop so inside the while loop we put our variable called read is equal to fs in dot read pass our buffer zero now buffer dot length is greater than zero then we say fs in dot write pass in a buffer zero and read so this is what we have now so we, we catch some exceptions um, crypto Uh, 
crypto graphic exception so yes so this is what we do we just print out message box dot show and yes dot message then one more thing you catch another exception yes so yes dot message um da -da 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 -da. message box dot show is dot message so inside the finally bit obviously this is what we would do now if we say fs fs dot close fs in dot close and then using stream reader sr is equal to the new instance of stream reader sorry call it local link the local link 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 so we have yeah the local link we have to make sure we put a dot in front so we put, inside here we put our local link that variable that we just created the local link and then this is what we do um, we come here this is what we show inside this bit so what is the name encrypted test so we say encrypted test dot test is equal to sr dot read to end so here after that this is what we do we say if file exists So we say our local the link. Then we say uh, is file is this this is not a there is a file name test dot test and then we say file dot delete and file name test dot test then we say file name dot test is equal to string dot empty so as you can see they are pretty straightforward stuff so what I'm gonna do is just pause it so we're just going to try it once again I mean to, to where we've actually gotten so far so what we do is obviously run it but before we run it this is this is what we're looking to change test one so as you can see inside this this document this is the only test file that we've got so far so we run it So now we will run and all we do is we say we select and we get the, the test one so as you can see this is the only test inside so as you can see we've got the test here and this is obviously the, 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 the link so what we do next is obviously we encrypt it so as you can see we've got the file encrypted now so we can actually go back to our folder to see so as you can see we've got the dot test removed and replaced with um, dot aes as an encrypted file 
So this is this will be obviously the content of the encrypted file. Yeah, but it was it was this before it was actually changed to this. So it's uh, it's very 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 simple stuff. But before you ask, before we go, you have to also make sure that um, before you encrypt it, your password is uh, is needed. I thought I've just got the password. There, so no, I never actually asked any. Um, that I never added the password as an input parameter, but it's just like um, a constant string variable. But obviously, if you're working on a on a real world scenario, you might want to be using more dynamic password. But obviously, this is just a tutorial, just like any of my videos. So be careful if you're actually using this on the production line to to bear in mind all these sort of drawbacks. So this is where we will live for now. On the next video, we will look at decrypting what we are, we've actually encrypted. So. Once again, thanks for your time. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. And I once again apologize for the uh, lack of audio quality. I'm actually trying to set up a new studio to get all this sorted out. So stay tuned and stay, stay subscribed and stay blessed. Bye bye.